All right, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I just got a few hours before work, so I thought I'd do an artificial bait challenge. Um, mostly I use maggots uh, when I'm ice fishing, but today I wanted to compare a couple different artificials. Um, I got gulp, little chartreuse minnows here. Always been a big believer in gulp. I use gulp in lots of different situations. It's always produced for me. I've just never tried it for ice fishing. So I got these little half inch chartreuse minnows. And I'm going to pin these against these really bizarre meat, panfish, leech, pork fat leeches. They're just about a couple inches long. Um, they have an interesting shape. They have like a tear teardrop shape on the end. You can pinch it off to make more like a maggot. And that's probably what I'll run for these perch since they seem to like smaller patterns. Um, Really not sure how these are gonna do. They don't even make them anymore. They're just on clearance at the store I work at. So I thought I'd give them a shot and see um, how they produce. So uh, through a flip of a coin, uh, the pork gets to go first. I'm gonna run each one for 20 minutes and then switch to the other one and uh, see which one wins uh, by the day's end. If I go a couple hours with nothing, I might try running a Swedish pimple or something with uh, maggots but I'm just gonna put these on a small jig head and jig them off the bottom and see how we do. So let's get started. You can see there's not much to them they're just essentially cured pork fat and a bunch of uh, bite stimulants and probably some fish oils and stuff. Let's take a whiff smell but nothing like fishy so let's see how it does there we go I left a little bit of a tail there so hopefully it adds some action to it let's see how it does get rid of the bite got him fish on first fish on the pork First fish on the pork, what do we got? All right, first yellow perch of the day on pork. There we go, he ate it. They do work. I had my doubts. There's a bite, got him. Oh, I lost him, I lost him. That sucks. Well, at least a couple bites and a fish. Not terrible. I mean, it's not like it's not catching anything. It's definitely getting their attention. This definitely has a fishier smell to it, these gulp minnows. Gulp has that very distinctive smell. Alright, so there's our gulp minnow. Let's see how that does. Well, that's it. No bites on the gulp for 20 minutes, whereas I caught one fish on the on the uh, pork, Josh's pork meat, but uh, had several more bites on it. I'm actually a little more confident in that bait than this one, so I have to say the, the winner of this morning's challenge is uh, pork panfish leech, which surprises me. Um, that's the cool thing about these little challenges, just trying out new stuff and seeing what works. And, uh, yeah, now I'm going to switch up to some of my old favorites and catch a few more fish for a little bit of a fish fry before I go to work. Anyways, let's uh, see what other fish I can pull up through this hole. Gotta move around. That's a really nice perch. Ooh, that's fatty. Take 
that. I got a bag. That's all the time I have. I gotta go to work. It was a good morning. At uh, four perch, one little one that I let go, and four or three bigger ones. A couple of bass, pretty decent sized one, and a small one, and uh, I also got one rainbow trout that popped off in the hole. But uh, I'm impressed. I thought these Uncle Josh baits were kind of a joke, but they, they did actually did pretty well for me today, and I, I'll probably continue to fish them since they outfish maggots today, which I've done really well on in the past. So, till next time, see you later.